Hey YouTubers, I'm back with uh, a little bit more detail and some findings that I have on the Logitech C920 webcam. Um, I posted a, a quick and dirty video like as soon as I had opened it and hooked it up to my Mac and that was mostly to say, hey, you can hook one of these up to a Mac and it's going to work and uh, it, it'll work fairly well. Um, but one of my subscribers or, or just a viewer uh, wrote me a simple comment on that video and all it said was 420p and it made me think I thought I was in 720p so uh, anyway I, I looked at uh, the video details on YouTube and sure enough it was uh, 480p so uh, I'm confused so I started researching it a bit and it seems I made a real rookie error and it's kind of funny because I've done a lot of um, you know, uh, quick and dirty uh, FaceTime camera YouTube videos in the past. And I thought I used Photo Booth for those, and I must not have. And I used Photo Booth for my little quick and dirty Logitech C920 um, right out of the box review that I posted that I'm talking about right here now. And uh, so I was wrong because what I always used was QuickTime. So uh, I did a bit of research and rediscovered that. and. Uh, so I fired up QuickTime, and sure enough, with QuickTime, I'm getting 720p. I'm not getting 1080p. Um, I've read quite a bit now, and it looks like even if you can get the codecs installed to get 1080p with this camera on a Mac, it's going to stutter, and uh, the quality is not going to be all that good. So um, I'm here to basically say you can get 720p out of this camera easily on your Mac, and uh, for me, for this kind of video, this is, this is basically good enough. Um, and like I was saying in my first video, mostly I was just trying to get having a FaceTime camera back because I now have my um, MacBook Pro clamshelled and I don't have the camera exposed anymore. I needed something. So I'm basically happy with this thing and even more happy that I've sort of discovered how to get 720p out of it. The other thing that I've discovered after a bit of research is um, in my first video I mentioned you can't really control the camera because of the software that comes with the camera is Windows only boo uh, but what you can do is go on the App Store and you can download uh, controller software and it's very basic but you know better than nothing for uh, the C920 actually it's uh, the software is called let's see it is it's just called the Logitech camera settings software and it's not specifically for the C920, but it controls it just fine within the limits of what the software allows. So um, you download that from the App Store, and it's like a, a 10 second download at most, and fire it up. And it lets you do some things that you cannot do um, you know, with, with no software. So I'm going to go through a little bit of that right here. One thing you can do is zoom. And, uh, you know... Uh, I don't know how useful that's going to be. I didn't realize the zoom was going to be stepped like that. I thought it might be more continuous. Maybe that was too much to ask for. Um, and so I guess that's okay if I wanted a, a tighter um, vlog video. Uh, if I wanted a tighter vlog video, this, uh, this would work okay. Um, you can also take it out of autofocus mode and, and focus it manually. Uh, I haven't found this to be all that useful. And... Uh, at least it's there though. So then that's that's what they call webcam control and that's all there is there. It does focus very close. Let me show you this. It's this it'll like you really want to see my fingers that close, but yeah, it it focuses uh super close. So that's kind of cool if you want to show a product or or print or or something like that. That's kind of nice. It's got an advanced setting tab that lets you play around with brightness, contrast, uh, color intensity, and uh, white balance. That's really useful. All that stuff is super useful. Um, you can see my white shirt is blown out. Um, that's okay because my face is exposed properly and um, so I'm willing to live with a little blown out whites uh, on this video. But uh, so that's the advanced settings, and then another tab is just device information. That's not all that interesting. But anyway, I did want to catch up and say um, I'm even happier with this camera now. 
Uh, it, it seems like it's doing pretty well. The mic works well enough as long as I adjust my uh, input levels properly. And um, video at 720p looks really good. It's definitely better than my old FaceTime camera uh, by a long shot. And uh, so I'm still happy with this. Again, it was like 60 bucks or so on Amazon. And um, if you have a Mac and you want a vlogging camera, um, I give it a thumbs up. So thanks for watching. I'll catch you later.